Hey, Vikings fans, welcome in to another episode of the Skull Hop. I'm Evan. I'm Austin. We're just a couple of dudes from Iowa. We like drinking beer and talking about the Vikings. Yeah, we do. And another another edition of the Mystery Beer tonight. I'm super excited, and you brought it. So I don't, I, I'm excited to try to guess what we've got. Going. I think you're going to like this one. Oh, oh, man. All right. Well, I already have a guess, but I, I, we'll, we'll save that for a minute. Do, you, do Should we do a pre-guess? I, I That's totally unfair, because all I have is I think you're going to like this one. Well, I won't tell you one way or another, but you could, I mean, that's the beauty of recording is we can go back and you can that's prove true. that you were right or wrong. That's true. So, what's it, your pre-guess? Oh, oh man. Pre-guess just off the way that you said that, a hazy IPA, and don't give me okay. anything. All right. All right. I'm not giving you anything. All right. Just off, just because you know, like if you talk to somebody about pizza we're going to have and you know dude loves pepperoni pizza and you're like, hey man, you're going <laughs> to love the pizza tonight. Like, okay, I guess we're having pepperoni pizza. I guess you'll have to find out. So maybe a hazy IPA. Before we find out though, we do have to thank our friends at Big Top Ventures. Uh, so shout out to Big Top Ventures for sponsoring today's episode. They can get you the lowest rate possible on several all-inclusives in Mexico or Jamaica. Big Top Ventures, step right up to your next big adventure. Uh, if you're interested in checking out what pricing they can give you, go ahead and Evan's pointing down at their email address. If you're watching us on YouTube or Spotify, you can see it. Uh, but go ahead and send them an email letting them know you're interested. Uh, their email address is bigtopventuresllc at gmail.com. Again, that's bigtopventuresllc at gmail.com. And I'm just going to keep saying it until I'm there. Uh, I'm going in less than a month now or T minus a few weeks. So I'm super pumped and it's all because of Big Top Ventures. So thanks, guys. There you go. All right. Should we crack these open and see if you're right? Yeah, we'll see if my hazy IPA guess is right. Um, I will say, Evan, you still have a pretty decent tinfoil job, but this is probably your your least performing tinfoil job <laughs> they so were, far. They were a little uh, condensated okay. when I got them home Here's from the, the store. excuses, okay. <laughs> I, I've said from the get-go, you are a much better tinfoil wrapper than I am. Okay, well, I accept that. I don't quite agree because your other ones have been great, but well, let's, <laughs> let's open these up and give them a try. Room for improvement. Hey, get better every day. Oh, man. All right, definitely smells really good. Oh, there it is. I'm seeing very, so it's not quite orange, but very citrusy looking. Maybe what I would consider like a grapefruit looking, maybe a little orangey now that it's all poured in there. Um, definitely an IPA. All right, let's, uh, let's give this a try. Let's go. Let's go. What do you think? That is good. That is good. That is a is it's a hazy IPA. It is a hazy IPA. It is a hazy IPA. So it's, you, you have correctly identified. Well, when you tell somebody who loves hazy IPAs, you're really gonna like the beer tonight. Um, and I had nothing to go off of. We've never had this beer on the show, as far as I know. You've never had this beer ever. I'm okay. pretty. I'm pretty sure this is a limited time release. Ooh. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. But. So you purchased this one close by, right? At our normal yes. spot? Yep. Devil's Glen High V. We love them. Talk about sponsors. We, we need to get them on board. <laughs> They'd be perfect sponsors. We get They provide all the beer, except for the Skull Hop beer. We did that ourselves. Thanks, Forrest. All right. Um, so last week you had me guess the type, the ABV, and the brewer. Yeah. So, so you I got, think the, I got type. the type right. 100%. Yep. I will say the flavor is crisp and refreshing and light. It's not a, if you hate IPAs, I don't think that you would turn your nose up at this one because it's not a hoppy flavor that's going to punch you in the face. It's a nice, light, refreshing hoppy flavor. It's still there, but it's not. It's very citrusy. Yeah. It's very it's, juicy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Juicy. That's, that's the right word, I think. Um, but yeah, a light flavor in in the best way possible. Um, man, what was it? Type ABV Brewer. Mm -hmm. So ABV just so I'm kind of conflicted here. You said you got four of them, and usually mm -hmm. when beers come in <laughs> four packs, specifically twelve ounce cans, 
that means they, they run a little bit higher on the ABV. So just going off that, if it was just the flavor, I would guess like five and a half to six. Okay. But just knowing quantity, because I've seen some of the four pack, you know, IPAs at our favorite Devil's Glen High V. And, uh, you can they, get up there. Yeah. You can get into the 9, 10, 11, 12 percent. Yeah. So I don't think it's 12. I'm not I'm not getting that <laughs> that punch in the face of, you know, stupor. Um, I'm going to guess seven and a half. Final answer? Final answer, 7.5. Yeah. You're a little high. Oh, okay. Your, your deduction skills are strong, but not maybe quite a Sherlock type of okay. all right, all right. deduction. Um, I think... I think, and this is my theory, could be wrong, but I think the four pack is due to the limited release. Okay. Okay. Not the alcohol percentage. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it is a 6%. Okay. All right. 6.0. So, okay. So your initial kind of taste test, I think, was more correct. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, that's right. What did I say? Five and a half to six, if mm-hmm. I was guessing just off the taste. But yep. either way, my final answer was seven and a half. So I was wrong on that one brewery have we had this brewery before we've had this brewery before yes local brewery um not hyper local not uh one that we frequent or one that we go to or could go to like right now okay it would take a little planning to go there but we might be planning to go there soon actually interesting would it take us more than two hours to get there no okay Hmm. Is it is it Big Grove? It is not Big Grove. Interesting. Dang it! You nailed it last week. You had you had the brewery right off the right off the bat in Peace Tree. Um, well, I was looking through our beer list, and I'm looking at our beer list again. All right, because we we track all the beers that we've had, and this is beer number forty three. Believe it or not. Yeah, this one is. I was trying to look. I thought you were telling me. Oh, the sorry. Right here, there. I'll pull the list up. It's in here somewhere. That's not the full list. All right. But is it Back Pocket? It is Back Pocket. All right. All right. Yeah. Back Pocket. Good one. We've had... Which one do we have? Their Gold Coin. Gold. Now that I'm seeing it Gold Coin. That yep. was a good one. So this is Back Pocket's Hazy Forecast. Ooh. Okay. And I liked the can art, too. It, it is. says, a juicy, hazy IPA that is more reliable than a feline meteorologist. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a cat predicting the weather. All right. It's kind of cheesy, but... The, the can awesome. art is really cool. <laughs> like, it's not just your, your normal, regular can art. It's really cool. Well, and I, I think it's a play off of, like, Iowa weather, too, mm-hmm. because, like, one day on the forecast is negative 18, and then it's 76, <laughs> and everything's great, and then it's 112, and the sun is really angry. So, that definitely describes Iowa weather. Yeah. It's definitely bipolar, and... Some days it's great and some days it's not. And I feel like this beer would taste good on any of the three examples that they list on their can. So I like this a lot. What do you think? I like it too. Yeah. I saw it on the shelf and I'm like, "Ah, he's going to expect me to bring an amber. I got to mix it up a little bit. (laughs) And I read the description on the can and I was like, yeah. Yeah. This is a good one. We're doing it. Um, And I really do think this is an IPA for everybody, not just people that love IPAs. Because uh, the flavor, and maybe if we handed this to my wife and had her try it, she'd make a <laughs> terrible face because she hates IPAs. But I really think most people would at least not hate this one. I really like it because I like IPAs, and it's a nice, you know, refreshing, almost like poolside or lakeside mm-hmm. IPA. But yeah, it looks really nice. I like it a lot. I'm excited to get a better opinion of it after a few more. There you go. It's cool. It's cool. What do you think of uh, the hazy forecast from this back pocket? This is so good. Like it is good. It's I, I, so I'm one that I will go for a bold flavor. Like I I know that I can handle heavy heavy IPA flavors and really spicy food and like I I like bold bold flavors. But this is refreshing. This is it's not offensive. It's not a hit you in the face too bold of a flavor. But it's really good. And uh, back pocket should be proud of it, and I hope it's not just a seasonal or a limited run because it's it's really good, and you should definitely try it. Yeah, and I know I mentioned this earlier, uh, but I don't know. They 
it could be kind of a limited release type of thing. Um, but I don't know. I haven't ever seen it on the shelf before yeah. until tonight when I was at the store. And I saw Hazy and I saw the description and I'm like, Austin's going to like that beer. Yeah. So And you were right. And you hadn't even tried it yet, but you were right. Um, maybe we should uh, hit up Back Pocket on our brew hop tour that we're, yeah. we're putting together. Yeah. So I think we counted uh, six weeks from now. Yeah. From, from right now. So maybe a little bit less time by the time we get all this out and you are, you're all listening to this, but yeah, we're, we're coming up episode 50. It's going to be a monumental episode. It's going to be a good one. And we're going to focus on the beer more than the Vikings for once. We might wear our Vikings shirts, but we'll oh, be, absolutely. we'll be out and about and we'll be visiting places possibly like back pocket. Yeah. And, uh, hopefully filming some stuff and, documenting our journey along the way so. absolutely so we are we're still finalizing everything um and i think we talked maybe we'll we'll kind of post out where we'll be so if you want to come come say hi to us maybe we'll have that information out but also maybe most importantly if you're a brewery in iowa and you're interested in you know having us in obviously our plan is to walk into every brewery and be you know well-mannered paying patrons <laughs> um but if you guys want to kind of showcase your brewery a little bit we'll we'll talk about you guys and and show the the brewing equipment if you're willing to show us anything we we're excited if you're excited so we'll, we'll come if you call us so let us know if you are a brewery or if you know somebody who might be interested in kind of having some kind of content with the skull hop yeah definitely reach out to us for more information about when specifically we'll be mm -hmm going on this little adventure how can people even if you're not a brewery how can people reach out to us you can reach out to us in a lot of different ways uh youtube we get a lot of we've been getting quite a few comments on youtube yeah. lately so thanks for that uh those of you that have been interacting with us there um you can send us messages on facebook twitter um those are probably the two main kind of mm -hmm. social media platforms that we're on instagram a little bit TikTok a little bit yeah TikTok a little bit yeah um so yeah those are great places to connect with us but you can also just email us mm -hmm. the school hop at gmail.com and we will we will reply <laughs> we, we definitely will yeah so yeah oh and our website too school hop the school hop school hop the school hop dot com the school hop dot com you can find links to everything from there even episodes and youtube videos were there yeah and even merch i'm repping our skull hop shirt evan had it on last week that's right uh, it was a different one we're obviously not sharing a shirt um <laughs> we even have coffee mugs oh yeah so I'm, even if you don't I'm like beer about those. but you just you like a good coffee mug with a good old vikings logo on it yep skull well our version of the the norse logo yeah. with a hop but yeah check us out and uh let us know you're there yeah good episode great episode best episode yet we just keep getting better and better every time we're like a fine wine we get better with age <laughs> or a good hazy ipa or a good they hazy actually IPA. don't get better with age don't <laughs> age your don't age your hazy ipas they it doesn't it doesn't go well you can age some beers <laughs> but not not not, a not hazy. it turns very vinegary uh it's not it's not good not a good idea drink them when they're fresh and great like this hazy forecast from back pocket and this one was yep all right, man. Till next time. Let's go. Let's go.